Uh, hello, Grandma DC here, and me, Mom. And uh, we're trying to film. I have my camera set up on top of my bun coffee pot. Hopefully, it's not hissing at you. And I have been holding this envelope for about four days, <laughs> waiting for Mom to get a chance to come over and open it because it is from Laurel. I was use your first name in, um, that'd be Oregon, right? O R. And I went to open it, and I saw there was three envelopes in here. And I, oh, I forgot I got to renew my car license. Don't you love that? <laughs> anyway, um, and it said open this one, open this one, and open that. And I thought, oh no, no, we have to do this. <laughs> I had to wait till you come over here. And it says open first. There's a five-piece chicken dinner in here to make me laugh. I'll bet you I know what it is. <laughs> So, Laurel, you're going to make me laugh. I know you are. And sure enough, it's a five-piece <laughs> chicken dinner. <laughs> I'm going to go feed that to the girls. They will get a kick out of that. They love corn. And this is open me second. Take mom out to lunch, which we are going out Sunday because uh, i got to go back for uh, transfusions and stuff on Monday at the hospital. So we go out to Sunday dinner, and uh, or we could have lunch on Monday on the way back. Oh, thank you, sweetheart, so much. I'll send cash in the mail. Oh! <laughs> and this one is to give me hope. I could use that. Oh. Yeah. I was ta I'll talk about that in a little bit, uh, because um, there was uh, metastatic breast cancer a group of women on there and, and we were talking about uh, having the someone said you know hang in the she says knowing I'm going to die is it hangs over your whole life you know and she has been diagnosed like me three years ago and told she had three years to live like I did she's been through her three years and so now she's just one day at a time and it, it's really tough uh, <laughs> Yeah, I thought it would take a lot longer to get older also. <laughs> hey, yes. you guys don't even know. <laughs> yes. Laurel, I'm going to read this later. Thank you so much. I, I love what you wrote. So, And, okay, good. Here you go, good Mom. News. And it's Bible verses and scriptures. Yes, always, I mean, when all else fails, sometimes faith is all you have in whatever you believe in. And that is right. But um, the metastatic, thank you, Laurel, so much, honey. And yes, we will be going out to dinner and we will be using your donation. Thank you so much. And the chickens are going to love the corn. But, you know, like they said, they said, how do, you, how do you get up every morning or how do you go on? You know, and it was like I said, well, that's true. Um, why bother? You know, there's not that much time left. You know, it's like, let's just die now and get it over with. It, it kind of feels that way. And so with me, like I said in my last video, I decided if I can't keep myself from going extinct, I will find a breed of chicken that's about to go extinct and try to save it. It gives me a reason to live. So um, I got a call today. I've got eggs coming in the mail from eBay. I know that. There was a whole bunch of people that just went, Ugh. But um, I've done it before and got the Saramas to hatch. Jennifer has my hatcher. So she's hatching a bunch of eggs right now, and that's fine. Uh, there's a man who has professional incubators, and I call, he called me today, and I called him back. We played phone tag. And then I finally got a hold of him. Sweet, sweet, sweetheart. So uh, he said whenever the eggs come, give him a call, and he'll tell me when to bring them as soon as possible. So we're going to do that. And for me, that's my reason to go on is is my pets and my chickens and um, me well and mom <laughs> I might not uh, tonight I mean we you know I might I, too why uh, I don't dwell on that though yeah <laughs> I, don't I mean dwell on that. you kind of can't I mean there's times you know I forget that I even have cancer my back hurts so me bad that <laughs> you know. And luckily, I got my new walker came in. Jennifer put it together for me. I'll show you this case. It's going to help a lot. Get the walker, walker yeah. around show, my, show my Cadillac. 
this off. Is, this is neat. Yeah. I'll show you this. I might even enjoy it. Yeah, well, you know, my thought was if, if, if it wouldn't work for me, it would work for Mom. That was my thought. But it's an upright. I'll go back and up here. And you can put your elbows in it and lean on it. Anything? Yeah. I think we're in. Yes. So, yes, it feels pretty darn good. It helps with the back feels better when you get something to put your elbows in and you can lean on it. So I got this off of Amazon. Uh, a little pricey. Mm. But I'm hoping worth it because when you have to walk through the parking lots at the hospitals and then you walk forever and then you have to stand and there's no place to sit. Well, this comes with its own chair. So if you can't find a chair, you just turn around and... <laughs> and almost fall down and kill yourself. <sighs> I'm okay. It doesn't happen. <laughs> now, now we know to hang on to the arms. Woo! That was fun. Okay. <laughs> the brake. <laughs> yeah, well, the brakes are behind me when you're sitting down. They need brakes in the front. Now we know. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, mom might die today of a heart attack. It'd be my fault. Oh. So no, yeah, never. this is gonna be. Never. This is gonna be a fun thing. I'm real happy about it. Hopefully it'll expand my distance I can walk without horrible, horrible, horrible pain and about to fall down. <laughs> of course, I don't kill myself with it first. Whee! <laughs> Scare me, mother dad. <laughs> I knew if I kept going, I'd hit the wall eventually. <laughs> what you was hitting so good. <laughs> I thought, well, eventually I'm going to hit a wall and it's going to stop going backwards. I just got to keep going. Okay, guys. Well, that's our life for the day. <laughs> a good life, even. Now you know what happens all the time. So yeah, I just say to my to my metastatic breast cancer girlfriends and and stuff. I uh, just uh, you know try to keep looking for things to do, even if that's just uh, ruining a jar of uh, sauerkraut. This is getting thrown to the chickens. I cannot make sauerkraut. And I don't care how easy they make it look on YouTube. <laughs> they were like, just crush it up with some salt and let it sit. Well, I did. And all it tasted like was salty cabbage. And then I added a little vinegar. I thought that would help it. No worse. And I don't know. I didn't let it sit long enough. Or I didn't crush it enough. Or I give up. I can't make sauerkraut. Hopefully the kimchi turns out. And I'm trying again for apple cider vinegar. Because my last one I didn't leave long enough. It smelled like beer and wine and the woman that does this on YouTube said I was on the right track. I just didn't leave it out long enough. So I have another batch going and that's going to be sitting out even longer. The kimchi I'm hoping is done in another day. Uh, that seems to work out better for me. But cannot do sauerkraut. Uh, you didn't leave it long enough. Mom says I didn't leave it out long enough. She said I should have left it for a month. <laughs> I my guess. Huh. I'll call my sister. Yeah. Call your sister. We had to call Aunt Toadie. She's what, 92? Yeah, so she's made hundreds of, of gallons for that stuff. Maybe Aunt Toad can figure out how, tell me how to make sauerkraut. And we got wine to check on today. I was trying to make wine and we need to decant it. So that's our next project is trying to make wine even though I don't, I don't drink. But I don't know, every once in a while. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Down, take a big Ooh, what is, this, is it yeasty? Yeasty. Well, maybe that's just like the, um, what was it I made the other day? The, oh, the apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Maybe it needs to go longer. Maybe so. Okay, See, well, because I put wine yeast in it. Gonna... Yeah, no, no. And no. Half a gallon right down the hatch. So, And no, this one you. is I'm still bubbling. Bigger drinker. Uh, yeah. So sevens was supposed to be when it was done. This is two days later, so... I think yes, we're going to put the uh, lid on and leave it out. I think I'd leave it. And we're going to leave it some more. Yeah, so it's Why not... Why don't stick a dog down and take a big whip of it along with some after you knock you out? Ooh, well, I don't know. Is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh. know since I don't drink that So much, much for our wine making a experience. glass of wine once in a while is good with Yeah, it. that's what I thought too. And I made it with 100% uh, Welch's juice with no preservatives and stuff. And then the wine yeast and the sugar, like they said. So, uh, all right, that experiment goes on. <laughs> we better let, leave that for a while. I think I will. We could pour it. We could pour a little on the glass and take a taste test. That's an idea. Uh, but it's got coffee in it. 
No, no, we don't, no. We don't want any contaminants. Here. Oh, here. Oh, I just, I just barely want to taste. Oh, I know, but I can't find a smaller cup, so just do a drib drib. Just a little dribble. All right. That's as dribbly as I can get. That, that's, that's dribbly enough. That's, that's good. Dribbly. All right, let's have a... <laughs> this might be better than me falling off the chair. Is that sour? <laughs> really? Does it taste Ooh. like wine? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It does. Real sour wine. <laughs> Maybe we should leave it longer then. How much sugar did you put in? Like half a cup I called for in each one. Or no, this one would have been, it would have been half a cup in this and a quarter cup because this was only about half full. Good with your sugar. I can always add more. Oh, and it actually would make the alcohol content higher. That's an idea. Let's add another quarter cup of sugar and a half a cup of sugar and... It tastes like one. Huh. Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that's dry wine. It is very dry. I wasn't expecting dry wine with that much sugar. We're adding sugar. But then that'll make the alcohol no, content... Not. No, that'll make the alcohol content go up higher and you don't want that... <sighs> mm. <laughs> You know what? It may go the way of the sauerkraut. <laughs> no, it's mine. It, it, it is. Wine. Okay, I, I have I have a plan. We're gonna look at YouTube videos. <laughs> now I prefer Lambert's go. Just got my pH test strips from Amazon today. In this box, and there it was, that little bitty pH test strips in a box that was way too oh, big. Oh, he's honking. Good God, did you hear that? Uh, thanks for driving Jesus, me back. You're welcome. All right, bye-bye. need anything, holler. I will, huh? Well, hello, Grandma DC here. And today was another infusion day. I would have been out of there by noon. Had an echogram done. Mom went with me. I used a new Cadillac walker I bought. And that saved my back. Even mom liked it. We're going to have to get her one. And um, got up there and, you know, we had to walk quite a ways. And we had to kill an hour. So we ate in their cafeteria and then walked all the way to the second floor and down to Infusion. And I went in there and I, I knew I was out of breath. Constantly I'm out of breath. You guys have heard me when I'm out feeding the chickens. <sighs> Sound like I've run a mile, feel like I've run a mile. Of course, was everybody saying, Oh, you're old fat, and there, you know, there you go, you need to lose weight, you know. And, um, but I got into my infusion, and my heart rate was about 200, and it would not come down. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why. I, you know, even during, um, my echogram, I could tell my heart was like dun 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 dun, and I thought, why is it doing that? I thought uh, sugar dumping. I mean, I've had that happen since I had a gastric bypass. Been a while. Um, I hadn't really done anything. Uh, had not really drank anything. We couldn't figure out. You know, maybe I had allergic reaction to some of the food. <laughs> Made no sense. I just had soup and uh, some vegetables. So. The nurses got real concerned, and we did everything to get that heart rate to come down. We had blue on our thumb and, and everything else, and finally I had to go to the emergency room where I stayed for almost 10 hours, and they did a, a um, PET scan of my chest. I had to get that stuff put in you that causes you to get hot, and you feel like you're in your pants, you know, and I came back, and it seems... Just to keep you all updated on the HER2 positive breast cancer. It seems I breathe through chemo too well uh, because it apparently has attacked my lungs and it's causing an enlarged, uh, like, aorta. I wasn't certain whether it was going into my lung or out of my lung to my heart, in or out, which is, but there, it's high pressure. And so it's enlarged. Um, there's no blood clots or anything like that. And they said it, it could be treated with medications, but I'm going to have to go to my PA on base. The woman who did not ever examine me and who allowed me to get this sick and who does not care. <laughs> That's my doctor. Hello, Dolly. Uh, not looking forward to having to approach her to beg her to give me a referral to a pulmonologist. And we don't really have any good pulmonary doctors around here, so I don't know how this is going to work out but off on a new adventure, trying to get some meds to lower the pressure in that, that uh, vein. Uh, 
doctor didn't seem to think I was in imminent danger, so they sent me home. So here I am, and my babies were so happy to see me. <laughs> yes, especially Maggie. Oh, Maggie has been beside herself. Yes, she has. I was gone way too long. I would have been back home. I just would have been gone overnight and would have been back home by 1 o'clock because it didn't take that long to get my infusion. They had it ready. And it just stuck it in my leg, and it took about a minute. She did it too fast. Yes, and it hurt. And uh, everything hurt today that they did to me, and I'm sore. And since I've had lots of shots of steroids and prednisones and uh, Benadryls and uh, anti-nausea medications and things I have to take before I do PET scans, um, I am wired and exhausted all at the same time. <sighs> Pam brought me back home. Uh, Mom didn't want me driving. I think I could have drove. Mom didn't want me driving. And so she had her husband and his sister come up, and, and his sister Pam, you all know Pam, drove me back home. And Mom came back with Rick. So that's what that honking was. It was him pulling up to get Pam to take her to get her car over at their house. <sighs> what a day. And I put everybody out, and I just feel awful about that. I mean, it just... but. Thank you guys for all the well wishes and the love that you have sent and everything. And I thought, well, they said the chemo will attack the weakest point in your body. It seems it's done something to my lungs. And that's probably why. That's what the doctor said. So there's an update. And I think I'm going to go turn on some TV and find a good movie to watch and try to just relax and drink a lot of fluid. Because my heart rate came down after they loaded me up with some lactated ringers, you know, that fluid. And once they put a bag of fluid in me, I felt a lot better and it finally slowed down. So they said it could have been uh, dehydration played a factor in that. So, all right, guys, not a heart attack, they said. So uh, could be in the future. Stay tuned. Who knows? Like mom says, no one knows how we're going to go. So, love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Your message to your provider. Me attempting to get a hold of my doctor on Whiteman Air Force Base. Are taking advantage of all the portal. Yeah, listening to it gab and talk and talk about a portal that you can't get into because it wants you to change your password like every six days. I've tried and tried to use that portal and very seldom have ever been able to get in. You are caller number two. Oh, I'm caller number two in queue. I'm just going to leave a message, tell her I need to see a pulmonologist. I don't know how to get to one. I don't know where one is. I don't know how to make an appointment. I'm sure I'm going to need referrals to, you know, from her or them. I won't get any information. You have a caller number. I'll just have to leave a message. In queue. So, here we go. This is how it works. It's ringing. Central appointing. This is Michelle. Can I help you? Hi, Michelle. Yes. I, uh, Tara Mary, and I need to leave a message for her. Is that okay? okay. Um, What's your last name? And well, the last four? Elise, E L I S E. Are you still on board me? Yep. Um, apparently, um, I need to see a pulmonologist. Uh, I was in the ER yesterday, and I have an enlarged vessel or heart. Something is going on with the chemo. And I don't know of a pulmonologist. I don't know how to get an appointment with one. And they said to contact her. Okay. So ER visit where? In Columbia, Missouri, at MU. I'm getting cancer treatment at Ellis Fischel.
Okay, so you went to the ER visit in Columbia at MU. You were diagnosed with enlarged what? Uh, it's an enlarged vessel in my heart. Vessel? Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's an artery, a vessel, or my heart was enlarged. I couldn't really understand what they were saying, but they said I need to see a pulmonologist. She should be getting all these records anyway. All of it comes back to her, I believe. Right. And you're currently being treated for which kind of cancer? Uh, her two positive breast cancer, stage four. And that was bilateral, ma'am? Left Apple. side, left side. Left. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, I am going to put this up to the provider team. Did you want me to transfer you on over to the referral department? Um, you can. I, I'll talk to Rhonda. Okay. Um, because, so do you think that? The doctor still needs to be aware of the ER visit, right? Oh, yeah. They said okay. I had to get the referral from her, so. I know, but because I'm sending her over to the referral department. Yeah. I'll keep okay. Rhonda updated. Yeah, will you just let her know that I started the note? If I she sure will. to finish it, okay? Okay, that'd be great. All right. Um, so, Rhonda, do you happen to have her extension, or should I just put you through two? Uh, go ahead and put me through. I've, I've got her here somewhere, but... If you can just transfer me, that'd be great. I have Lori, and I have a Susan. I don't have a Rhonda, though. Lori might be there, too. They both work on different Wait, days. Lori. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, ma'am, I did try to get a hold of Rhonda. She's at lunch right now, but I'm going to transfer you through through the um, the tree, okay? Okay. So you're going to hit option one, and then you're going to leave a message, okay? All right. Hold on one second. For referral management, press one. For TRICARE, press two. You have reached the 509th Medical Group after hours menu. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. To contact the public health hotline or the nurse advice line, press 1. To refill a prescription, press 2. To cancel a medical appointment without rescheduling, press 3. For after hours emergency dental concerns, press 4 after to hours. speak to the on-call dental provider. You know, new on a of operation, Tuesday and local hospital information, press 5. If you would like to repeat this option, press 8. Well, just repeat it because what I need is not there. Group, after hours menu. We'll have to pick which one we if want to just try. Please hang up and dial 911. It's not an emergency. To contact the public health hotline or the nurse's public lifeline, hotline. press 1. To refill a prescription, no press prescription, 2. and that's not a nurse. Cancel a medical appointment without rescheduling. Press no, three. it's not that. Or after hours emergency dental concerns. Oh, not after press hours dental. To no. Speak to the on call dental provider. Yeah, no, that's not it. Or clinic hours of operation and local hospital information. Press five. Uh, clinical hours of operation. If you would like to repeat this option. Press eight. I think none of that applies to what we need, which we need referral. So we're just going to hang up. And that's the way it goes. So now I'll have to look up Rhonda's number and call her myself. But she's out to lunch because it's noon, so I'll wait an hour. There you go. Isn't this fun? This is so fun.